of the series versus Central Michigan. Yesterday, Bowling Green took game one in five innings, a score of 8-0 to zero after Peyton Gottshaw threw her second no-hitter of the season. She'll start on the mound for the Falcons once again today. Falcons coming into this one with a record of 9-7. and seven. All of those nine wins, courtesy of Peyton Gottshaw, performances on the mound. And then for Central Michigan, they come in under that. They come in with a record of 2-8. and eight. Central Michigan had a couple of games postponed earlier in the year, so not quite as many games under the belt for the Chippewas as the Falcons. The two wins for Central Michigan, Northern Kentucky, and Stetson. They're trying to get back on the winning side of things, looking to snap a three-game losing streak today. First pitch. Strike there for Peyton Gottshaw. Jaden Knapp, the batter for Central Michigan. Lefty center fielder watches strike two go by. Rise ball high for Gottschaw. Count moves to one and two. Strike three. Nap goes down looking. Gottschaw gets her first strikeout of the game. Jaden Knapp, one of the highest averages on the team for Central Michigan. But not that time. Strikeout early on. Now Abby Tolme steps in for Central. Fouls the first pitch off. Abby Tolme batting 323 on the year for Central Michigan. She has played and started in all 10 games for the Chips. Gotcha second pitch, another foul ball. Down the, left down the left field line again and out of play. So 0-2 count here on Abby Tolme. Hit on the ground, and that's going to be through. Abby Tolme going to get a single. Nice hard line drive past the third baseman. Hit it right by Sarah Gonzalez down that third baseline, and Tolme, first batter on here, hit early for the Chippewas. Gotcha gets things underway. Ball high. McKaylee Valamont. Fouls the second one back. Valamont, the designated player for the Chippewas, so you won't see her out in the field. Gotcha delivery. 
Another one fouled straight back by Valamont. Valmont stays alive, getting a piece of that one straight into the ground behind the plate. One, two count. Rise ball again high for Gutshaw. Cold strike on the outside corner. Peyton Gutshaw strike number two here early on in this one. Gave up the hit to Abby Tolme, but came back and got a strikeout from Akaley Valamont. Emily Bracamonte in for Central. First pitch outside. Bracamonte, the righty batting 222 this year for the Chippewas. Only six hits and 27 at-bats on the season. But she is six RBIs. She leads the team in that category. Foul back. Count goes to one and one. Delivery from Gotcha, swing and a drive way back, and it is gone. Central Michigan, a home run here in the first inning from Emily Bracamonte, deep to left field. And Central Michigan puts two on the board with two outs. Central Michigan's third home run of the year, the first for Emily Bracamonte. And she saw a good pitch, and she delivered. Now the left fielder, Kelsey Alexander, into bat for Central Michigan. Gotshaw's first pitch. Swinging strike there from Alexander. Fouls pitch two straight back. 0 2 count here. Kelsey Alexander does have one of those three Central Michigan home runs under her belt for the season. 0 2 pitch from Gottshaw. Alexander out over the head of the right fielder. That's going to turn into. A couple of bases there. Kelsey Alexander, a double, so a two-out rally here for Central Michigan. Morgan Gardner up to bat for Central Michigan. 286 average for the year. Gardner shifts out into the field. She'll fill the shortstop role. 
for Central Michigan. First one fouled down the line. One count now, two outs. Another pitch fouled off. Now things will move to 0-2. Peyton Gotcha already has two strikeouts this inning. Can she get a third? Fouled off by Gardner. Gotcha goes back to that outside corner where she got strikeout number two. But Gardner was ready for it. Fouled it off down the first baseline. There it is. Strike three. Peyton Gottshaw, three strikeouts in the first inning. But Central Michigan... They were able to strike first, courtesy of a two-run home run from Kelsey Alexander. When we come back, the Falcons will be up to bat. We'll see if they can answer the two from Central Michigan. Back here in inning number two, the f or inning the bottom half of inning number one, Greta Lesperon is going to go to work for the Falcons. Pulled out of a bunt, ball one. Chloe Mallory, the pitcher for Central Michigan, lays down a bunt. Lesperon's going to be safe at first, so a leadoff bunt. Gets Bowling Green with a runner on board. Sammy D's now in for Bowling Green.
Ball one. Mallory can't get a strike on the board, so advantage goes to Dees right out of the gate. In the first at bat. Strike there. Count now one and one. Fakes bunt. Lesperons goes. Gets into second base safe. Slides in safely for her 13th stolen base of the year. She's been safe every time she's tried. Sammy D's back into the box, a two and one count. Lesperon's now on second base after the steal. Delivery, D's fouls it off. Count moves to two and two. Count stays at two and two. Another foul from Sammy Dees. The red shirt sophomore from Rancho Santa Margarita, California. And there, she gets a piece of one. Out to left field, right near the fence. Going to be dropped by Central Michigan's left fielder. And two runners on base now for Bowling Green. Run Lesperance advances to third, and Dees will get a double out of the error by the left fielder. Kelsey Alexander was under it, but it looked like she lost it in the sun, wasn't able to track it accurately, and hit the mitt and fell to the floor. So now Maddie McCoy in for Bowling Green, two runners on both in scoring position for the Falcons. Trying to answer a Central Michigan two run homer in the top of the first. First pitch fouled off by McCoy. McCoy takes strike two. Mallory with the delivery. Outside. Count moves to one and two. Low and inside. Count moves to two and two. McCoy battling back after a couple of balls from Chloe Mallory.
Fouls it straight back on the fifth pitch of the at-bat. A piece of it, line drive down the third base line. It'll stay in play. Bowling Green going to try to score two. They will. And Matty McCoy... Maddie McCoy gets an extra base hit. A double there brings in two for Bowling Green, and they've matched the two that Central Michigan had in the top of the inning. So Bowling Green coming, firing back, still no outs in the inning. And now Evelyn Loyola will step in for Bowling Green after a bound visit for the Chips. Samantha Mills, the catcher for Central Michigan, went out to talk to Chloe Mallory. As Central Michigan tries to regroup. Bowling Green on a run, Evelyn Loyola. Pitch number one, high. So Mallory struggling here early on for Central Michigan. Strike called. Count now one and one for Evelyn Loyola. Loyola won a four, one of four Bowling Green players from the state of California. Mallory delivers. Strike on the outside. One-two count here. Outside, strike three looking. And Chloe Mallory gets her first strikeout for Central Michigan. First out of the inning. After a couple of hits from Bowling Green. Macy Godbolt in for Bowling Green. She'll take strike one. Godbolt Bowling Green's designated player. Low that time for ball one. Strike one. Right over the heart of the plate. Godbolt couldn't get the stick on it. Well high and outside that time for Mallory. Two and two now, one out for Bowling Green. Maddie McCoy still standing on second base in scoring position for the Falcons. Strike three. Chloe Mallory after struggling early on. Two strikes, strikeouts in a row. Evelyn Loyola. And then Macy Godbolt. So now Sophie Weber up for Bowling Green. Falcons don't want to leave Maddie McCoy stranded out there on second.
Sophie Weber batting 227 this season. McCoy goes, throw high. So McCoy will get a stolen base as she goes to third. Looked home, looked back at the left fielder. And there was no room for her to try to advance and score another run for Bowling Green. Weber back in to the box with a 1-1 count. And Mallory hits that outside again. We've seen both players use the outside early on here in the first inning of game two. High and outside that time. Count two and two. Reminder, this is just game two of four between the Chippewas and the Falcons this weekend. Today there will be a doubleheader with a game coming up after this one. Fouled off by Weber. Swing and a drive, way back, and that is gone. Sophie Weber, a home run for Bowling Green, so Central with a home run in the first, and now Bowling Green with a home run in the bottom of the first. Sophie Weber extends the Falcons' lead to four to two. A deep drive to center field, and now the Falcons find themselves ahead. Nikki Sorgi in for Bowling Green. Samantha Mills went out to visit Chloe Mallory on the mound once again as the infield came in. And Mallory trying to get out of this inning. Two outs right now with Sorgi in the right-handed batter's box. Takes strike one. Mallory ready, delivery, pitch number two, low and outside. Count moves to one and one. Sorgi on the ground to third base, and Central Michigan gets out of the inning. So that will do it for inning number one. Bowling Green on top of Central Michigan. Four to two.
Sammy Mills in top of the second inning here. Bowling Green ahead of Central Michigan, 4-2. to two. Early on in game number one today, two of the series. Gotcha off first pitch outside, but it'll stay in for a strike. Second pitch high. Samantha Mills fouls a pitch straight back. Mills on the season 130 average. Tallying three hits and 23 at bats. Mills fouls another one off. Catches the top of the netting behind the plate. And a 1-2 count for Peyton Gottschaw. Another foul from Samantha Mills. Shaw's delivery with a 1-2 count outside. Three strikeouts in the first inning for Peyton Gottschaw. Tries to catch the outside corner there. Can't do it. 3-2 count for Samantha Mills. Outside, Samantha Mills, she'll be on board, courtesy of a walk from Peyton Gottschaw. Now Shannon Stein up to the plate. For Central Michigan, the eight hitter for the Chippewas. Central Michigan likely going to get a pinch runner here for Samantha Mills. They will. Stephanie Anderson. And a pinch run. So after the pinch runner, Stein into bat. Gottschall will go back to work. 4-2 Falcons lead. First pitch, high, skied, and that will down the third baseline. Bowling Green catches it for out number one. Now Abigail Niehaus. To bat for Central Michigan. Stephanie Anderson there on first. Pinch running for Samantha Mills after she was able to draw a walk in the first at bat of the inning. Bunt laid down. Advances the runner. But Niehaus out at first. So sacrifice bunt for Central Michigan. Two outs now in the inning. They'll go back to the top of the order. Shaden Knapp. Knapp struck out in at bat number one today.
She'll foul the first pitch back into the netting. Delivery on pitch two. Draws the count to one and one. Knapp swings, drives it out to left field and Bowling Green gonna get out of the inning. Nice play there for Bowling Green. As Nikki Sorge was able to cruise under it for out number three. That'll do it for the top of the second inning. When we come back, Bowling Green will go back to the dish. 4-2, Bowling Green leads over Central Michigan. Sarah Gonzalez is going to be the leadoff batter here in the bottom of inning number two. Bowling Green leading Central Michigan four to two.
Or down the third base line, it'll be foul out of play. Sammy D's got all of that one, just couldn't keep it between the lines for Bowling Green. Takes a pitch low in the dirt. Sammy Dees gets a piece of it out to right field. The sun has caused a problem, but not on that one. Out number three. So we'll go to the top of the third. Bowling Green still ahead of Central Michigan, 4-2. to two. Trying to go back to work against Peyton Gottschaw. Abby told me. Going to be the first batter of the inning. Gottschaw's delivery on the outside corner for strike one. Olmey was able to get a hit down the third base line in her first at bat. Now skies one. Still in the infield. An easy out there for Bowling Green. As Maddie McCoy was able to cruise under that infield pop fly. McKaylee Valamont now into the box for Central Michigan. Line drive over the head of the shortstop. Could be extra bases here. And Valamont gonna get an extra base hit as she gets a double. And now the cleanup hitter, Emily Bracamonte. She had a home run in her first at bat. She put a missile out over the left field fence. Landed on the bullpen. So Valamont gets a hit there with a line drive over the shortstop that went all the way to the wall. Now Evelyn Loyola and Peyton Gottschall having a discussion out on the mound. So Bracamonte back into the batter's box. 
for the first time since that home run back in inning number one. One out here in the third. Runner in scoring position. After the double from Valamont. Bracamonte. Pitch number one. Another fly ball. Left field. And it is... Hooked foul around the pole. And Bracamonte almost had a home run number two. From where we're sitting, could not have been fouled by much. Now a mound visit here. For Bowling Green. And Bracamonte, almost the same spot, probably 15 feet of a difference between that foul ball and her home run back in inning number one. Bracamonte now leading the team after her first inning performance with eight RBIs this season. Three more than the next best player for Central Michigan. Back into the box, 0-1 count. Gottschall delivers. Swung on, Bracamonte gets a hit out to right field. Central Michigan are going to hold the runner at third. Michaela Dees had a good positioning, fielding that ground ball out in right field. So Central Michigan going to hold the runners. So now runners on the corners for left fielder Kelsey Alexander. Alexander was able to get a hit in her first at bat today against Peyton Gottschaw. She steps in for a bat number two. One out here in the top of the third. Lays down a bunt and it will go foul. Sarah Gonzalez Went to reach for it and pulled up as that ball was headed right down the line. So 0-1 count here now following the foul ball from Kelsey Alexander. Alexander takes a pitch high. Now one and one. Little fly ball. Foul down the third baseline. Bowling Green not able to get there. Off the handle of the bat for Alexander. Count now moves to one and two. Outside corner, gotcha. Strikeout number four. So now with two outs in the inning, Morgan Gardner steps up to the plate for the chips. First pitch delivery. Swung on by Gardner, out of play. Yeah. 
Second pitch delivery. Hi. Gotcha tried to go to the rise ball. One one count here, third inning, two outs. In the top of the third, Bowling Green still out in front of Central Michigan, but runners on the corners right now for Central. Gardner swings one deep to left field, and it will get out of here. A three-run home run for Morgan Gardner. Central Michigan now back on top, and Gardner a three-run home run with two outs in the inning. So Peyton Gottshaw, after throwing a no-hitter yesterday, Central Michigan's been able to tally five so far here through three innings. So that will likely do it for Peyton Gottshaw. Is Bowling Green probably going to make a pitching substitution? So freshman pitcher, Harley Venatter, going to come into the game for Bowling Green. And that will do it for Peyton Gottschall here in game number one. Gives up five runs in two and a third innings. Two and two-thirds innings. So Venatter will warm up for the Falcons and then we'll be back. Harley Vanatter now into the game for the Falcons following a pitching change. Where Morgan Gardner was able to get a three run homer off of Peyton Gottshaw to put Central Michigan back out in top. Top of the third inning here, Central Michigan leading Bowling Green five to four. And now the catcher, Samantha Mills, into bat for Central Michigan. Five, now six appearances in the Falcon Orange so far this season. And starts off this at bat, 2-0 count to Samantha Mills. Pitch three coming, outside ball number three. Outside ball four, four pitch walk to Samantha Mills. 
Shannon Stein going to come to the plate for Central Michigan. Pass the ball. Will advance Mills to second base. Vanatter with the delivery. Low in the dirt, 2-0 count. Now a strike. So after six consecutive balls to start the appearance here for Vanatter, she delivers a strike over the heart of the plate. And now Shannon Stein will likely have the green light to swing if it's there after wanting to make Vanatter deliver a strike first. Indeed, Stein swings. Deep fly ball. But Bowling Green there, Nikki Sorgi makes the grab for out number three. That'll do it for the top of the third, but Central Michigan gets a three-run homer to go back out top. Morgan Gardner on the delivery. And now we'll head to the bottom of the third momentarily and see if Bowling Green can find another answer. Bowling Green back into the box. As we get strike one in the bottom of the third inning from Chloe Mallory. First batter, Maddie McCoy. She delivered on a home run for Bowling Green. No, McCoy delivered on a double for Bowling Green back in the first, but she was able to get two RBIs out of that double, accounting for two of the four runs for Bowling Green in inning number one. A 
McCoy leading the team in RBIs for Bowling Green this season. 13, skies one out near left center field. And Central Michigan will cruise under it. That was Taylor Knapp. Now Evelyn Loyola in for Bowling Green. She struck out in her first at bat. She's the first strikeout of the day for Chloe Mallory. Takes pitch one on the outside corner. Evelyn Loyola swings on pitch two. Same location for Mallory is pitch number one. So 0-2 count now here, one out, bottom of the third. Tried to go outside again, but too far outside that time for Mallory. Ball one. Outside again, and Loyola strikeout number two. Chloe Mallory gets the best of Evelyn Loyola in her first two at-bats today. Now Macy Godbolt to the plate for Bowling Green. Godbolt also struck out in her first at-bat of the game. Trying to get things corrected. Outside pitch one from Mallory. Godbolt swings for strike one. Pitch number two. Outside. Gets another strike. 0 2 count on Godbolt. Mallory delivers. Godbolt fouls it off. And Godbolt strikes out four pitches and two back-to-back -back strikeouts. For Chloe Mallory, we'll go to the top of the fourth. Central Michigan out in front of Bowling Green, five to four. Back here, top of the fourth inning.
Central Michigan going to the plate. Abigail Niehaus. The nine hitter for Central Michigan. Takes ball two, hitter inside. So ball two inside, gets a piece of Niehaus. So Central Michigan with the leadoff runner on here in inning number four. So back to the top of the order, go the chips. Shaden Knapp. Knapp shows bunt, trying to draw the corners in. Potentially opening up a steal from Niehaus, but Niehaus stays on first. But Natter delivered a strike there, 0-1 count here in the top of inning number four. Showing bunt again. Pitch outside, 1-1. Pitch number three, fouled off, hitting one of the light posts, and it'll come back in to play. One-two count. Vanatter looks for her first strikeout. On the one hitter for Central Michigan, Shaden Knapp. Knapp 0 for 2 today. Delivery from Vanatter. Outside. Too far outside there. Count moves to two and two. Vanatter with the delivery. Low. 3-2 count. Shaden Knapp trying to get on base. Would like a hit, but I'm sure she'll take it any way she can get it. If she can have the opportunity to be on base, a couple of runners would be on base for Central Michigan. Full count pitch. Low. And that will be a walk. So Shaden Knapp on for Central Michigan. Runners on first and second now. Evelyn Loyola going to take a trip out to the mound to talk to her pitcher. Harley Venatter. And we are going to make a pitching change. Bowling Green going to make another change. Sydney Stepp going to come in for Bowling Green. Red shirt freshman. So we will take a break as Step warms up and we'll be back here. Central Michigan with two runners on in the top of the fourth.
conferences over six cities. Step. Back here from Reserve Field, the Sydney Step comes into the game. Her third appearance of the year, she's thrown only 2.1 innings this season, so two and a third for Sydney Step. And she's going to have to go against Abby Tolmy with runners on first and second here in the top of the fourth for Central Michigan. First delivery is a strike. Central Michigan coach McCall Solomon going to talk with our field umpires. Everybody will go back to their positions. Step set for pitch number two. Tomey delivers pitch number two, fouled off. O2 count here on Tomey with runners on first and second in the top of the fourth. Central Michigan leading Bowling Green five to four. Pitch inside to Tolme, one, two, the count. So far, all of Central Michigan's five runs have come courtesy of the long ball. After Broncavante had a two-run homer in the first, and then later in the game, Morgan Gardner with a three-run homer to center field. On the ground to first. Bowling Green will get one out. As Sophie Weber was able to come up with the grounder, taps first. Her runners advance for Central Michigan, now two in scoring position. As McKaylee Valamont back into the game. Valamont one for two today. Valamont had a double. Back in inning number one. Step with the first pitch delivery to Valamont. Ball outside. Sydney Step, the third pitcher for Bowling Green today after Central Michigan was able to get to Peyton Gottschall early. On the ground, looked home, goes to first. Bowling Green gets out number two, but Central will tally one more. Advancing their lead six to four, now over Bowling Green. Now Emily Bracamonte to the dish. She had that long home run to left field in inning number one, and then her second at bat piped one just foul near the same spot. She was able to advance on a hit, so Bracamonte two for two today. Takes a first pitch as a strike outside. Sydney Step able to hit the outside corner for strike one, 0-1 oh, one count, two outs here in the top of inning number four. Strike two to Bracamonte.
Step catches her hip. For ball one of the at bat. Right down the plate, Sydney Step gets Emily Bracamonte. That will do it for the top of the fourth inning. Central able to get one. They lead Bowling Green six to four. We'll be back for Bowling Green to head to the plate in the bottom of inning number four. Back here from Missouri Field as Sophie Weber takes ball number one from Chloe Mallory. Weber had a two-run shot back in inning number one. Takes a strike right over the heart of the plate to move the count to one and one. Strike two, almost the same location that time, one, two count. Now to Sophie Weber. Weber into the gap in right field and Weber gonna look for two, an extra base hit as Sophie Weber gets the second base. Bowling Green hasn't had much momentum since inning number one. Weber tries to get things going with a leadoff double. Marley McNulty into pinch run for Bowling Green. Bunt down the first baseline. Gonna be called out at first. Nikki Sorgi tried to lay down a bunt, almost got to first base, but advances the runner for Bowling Green. So now McNulty 
Stands on third with one out here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Strike one, Sarah Gonzalez, one out here, runner on third base. McNulty, pinch running for Weber. Straight up into the air. Central Michigan gets out number two. Shannon Stein cruises under the high fly ball right down the first base line. Strike one is Michaela Dees comes to the plate for Bowling Green. Dees got a hit in her first at bat. Strike two. 0 2 count. Chloe Mallory with five strikeouts, looking for number six. Got it. Three pitch strikeout for Chloe Mallory in Bowling Green. Leaves a runner stranded on third. Six to four, Central Michigan leads as we head to the top of the fifth inning. Back here in the top of inning number five. As Sydney Stepp goes back to work. Against Kelsey Alexander, strike one. To start inning number five. Ball two, high and outside. Strike two. Got Alexander to come around on a pitch inside. Strike three, Sydney Step gets a strikeout here to start off inning number five. Morgan Gardner comes to the dish, one for two today. Of course, that one hit 
being the three-run homer that puts Central out in front back in the top of inning number three. Since then, Central Michigan has extended their lead. Strike one to Gardner. Finds the gap between the third baseman and the shortstop. So Morgan Gardner going to get her second hit of the day. She gets on with a single. Samantha Mills coming to the dish. After a single from Gardner. Delivery from Step. Strike one. Sydney Step done a really nice job since coming into this game for Bowling Green. Strike two. And now Mills will go over to have a talk with Coach Loyola. will go out to talk to Sydney Stepp. Sydney Stepp, since coming into this ball game, one in one thirds inning has only given up one hit, which was the one we just saw a moment ago. She's got two strikeouts already. So now Mills back into the box. Lefty catcher. Two walks today for Mills. Not this time. Mills goes down swinging. Depp gets her third strikeout of the afternoon. Shannon Stein looks at pitch one outside, ball one.
Bowling Green back to the top of the order as Greta Les Bronze going to lead off inning number five for Bowling Green. Bottom of the fifth here, Central Michigan out in front of Bowling Green, six to four. Infield in on Les Bronze, delivers a hit past the shortstop. Les Bronze gets a single to lead off the inning for Bowling Green. And of course, with Les Bronze on base, we have to mention that she is 13 of 13 in steal attempts so far this season. We saw her get a steal right after the first at bat of the game for Bowling Green. A couple of pitches into the at bat for Sammy Dees. She was able to nab second base for her 13th steal. Now, once again, Les Bronze is on, and Dees steps up to the plate. Red shirt sophomore, swing and a drive, left field, back to the track, and Central Michigan makes the catch. Les Bronze tags up and gets to second base on the deep fly ball from Sammy Dees. Thought it may have had a chance, but Central Michigan able to track it down at the wall. Now Maddie McCoy batting for Bowling Green. She'll foul off for strike number one. McCoy had that two-run double. Back in inning number one. On a line drive that ended up out in the wall beneath the scoreboard in left center field. McCoy takes pitch number two right back up the middle. Central Michigan misses the scoop, and Bowling Green will score. Les Bronze uses the speed to go from second to home. And Shaden Knapp missed the scoop out in center field, and Bowling Green cuts the deficit to one. 6-5 now the score here at Missouri Field as the infield comes into the mound for Central Michigan. Chloe Mallory. Gives up a run as Maddie McCoy gets her third RBI of the day here in game number one of the doubleheader. McCoy up to 14 RBIs on the season. Continues to extend her batting average well over 300. Logan Everett swinging at pitch number one. Everett pinch hitting for Evelyn Loyola. Pitch number two, call the ball, count now one and one. One out here in the bottom of the fifth inning. After McCoy cuts the deficit to one after driving in Greta Lesperanz. After a single back up the middle. Pitch low and in the dirt. McCoy will advance to second base. Now after a couple of Falcon hits, they have Malloy. Mallory rattled. Mallory was strong early on. And now going to get a visit from coach. Chloe Mallory, four and one-third innings pitched with six strikeouts. She's given up seven hits to the Falcons. So a pitching visit out to the mound. 
as Mallory works here on Logan Everett. 2-1 count, one out in the bottom of the fifth. Mallory back to work following the mound visit. Gets strike two. Everett swings it a rise ball high. 2-2 two -two count. Fouled off behind the plate. Off of the netting. And Sammy Mills able to turn around and catch it in the glove. Fires it right back to her pitcher. Remains a 2-2 count here. Logan Everett battling in this at bat. Outside, and Mallory gets the strikeout. Chloe Mallory's seventh strikeout of the game. She's been in for the entirety for Central Michigan from the beginning to now. Macy Godbolt into the right-handed batter's box. Looks at pitch number one. And it'll be ball one. Mallory delivers. Strike one. Draw Godbolt. Drew Godbolt around to swing. Maddie McCoy out there in scoring position with two outs for Bowling Green. She stands on second. Godbolt, strike two. Sarah Willis will chat. with Macy Godbolt. Godbolt 0 for 2 today, two strikeouts. So far this inning, Bowling Green was able to get one, courtesy of the third RBI of the day for Maddie McCoy's Greta Lesperons came around to score from second to home on a hit right back up the middle. Mallory delivers, strike three, and Central Michigan gets out of the inning, but not before Bowling Green scores one to cut the deficit. Central Michigan leading Bowling Green will go to the top of the sixth, 6-5, six chips over the Falcons. Step delivers, 
to Shaden Knapp. After Bowling Green got to start at the top of their order, Central will start with the top of their order here in inning number six. Ball one from step. Pitch number two delivered in for a strike. Near the top of the zone. Low and inside, ball two. Nap 0 for 2 on the day, was able to draw a walk. Another strike. Almost the same position as the first one. Count now 2 and 2. Sydney Step, three strikeouts since coming in two innings ago. She's been strong in her appearance this afternoon. Delivers on the 2-2 and gets a strikeout. Bowling Green, Loyola will have to throw down to first after dropping strike three, but with ease, and Bowling Green gets out number one. Abby told me in for Central. Tolmey coming into this contest was batting 323. She had registered more at bats than anyone else on the team coming into today's game. Domi fouls one off of her right foot. One one count here to Abby Tolmy. And they'll say Tolmy held up. So count will move to two and one. Plate umpire had to look down the line and third base umpire said no, she did not. So two one count now, one out here in the top of inning number six. Steps pitch inside. Count now three and one. Abby told me today, deployed in right field for Central Michigan. A freshman from Clarkston, Michigan takes strike number two. Now full count here with one out. Step with the delivery. Tolmy fouls it off down the first base line to stay alive. Tolmy, a hit, finds the gap between first and second base. Bowling Green thought they had maybe had a chance to throw Tolmy out at first from the outfield, but she's in safely with a single. Kaylee Valamont 
One for three on the day. She does have an RBI. Step delivers, pitch one, low. Not able to get a strike. <laughs> pitch two, delivery. Too high, out of the zone. 2-0 count. Nobody warming up in the bullpen for Bowling Green. So Step may get a chance to finish out this game depending on how this inning goes. Pitch number three, right back between the shortstop and the third baseman. And Valamont delivers with an extra base hit. She gets a stand-up double, and now Central Michigan has two runners in scoring position. And now, steps to the plate. Emily Bracamonte, two for three today for Central Michigan. She had the accounting for the first runs of the game on a home run back in inning number one. Ball one is the first pitch from step outside. Pitch number two delivered. Just missed the outside corner. Two zero -oh pitch from step. Bracamonte takes a hack at it, fouls it off. Count moves to two and one. Two one pitch high. And after a strong couple of innings, Sydney Stepp struggling a little bit here in the top of inning number six. Three one pitch, gonna be low in the dirt. So Central Michigan loads the bases after Bracamonte takes a walk from Stepp. Central Michigan going to bring a pinch hitter to the plate. Tala Dean. Tala Dean going to get her first at bat of the day. Going to come in and pinch hit for Kelsey Alexander. Bowling Green going to make a change. His coach will come out to talk to Sydney Stepp. Yeah. 
6-5, Central Michigan leads. As Bowling Green goes through a mound visit, we'll take a break and we'll be back with one out here in the top of inning number six. Back inside Missouri Field. Some activity in the pen once again for Bowling Green. But right now, Sydney Stepp going to try to get out of the jam. Taladine pinch hitting for Central Michigan. Pitch number one delivered in for strike. Bowling Green infield playing corners in. Going to try to get the force at home. Strike two. O2 count to Taladine. Pitch three, strikeout. Three pitch strikeout for Sydney Step. And now two outs, and Bowling Green's one step closer to getting out of the jam. Morgan Gardner into bat for Central Michigan. She had a three-run homer to center field earlier in this game. She's got the chance now for more RBIs as Central Michigan has the bases loaded. First pitch outside and high. One O count. Morgan Gardner, two of three today, three RBIs. The plate appearance where she didn't get a hit resulted in a strikeout. So Gardner has seen all aspects today from the strikeout to the homer. Down the third baseline. One run will score. Central Michigan will hold the next runner at third base, so bases will stay loaded for Central Michigan as Morgan Gardner delivers with a single to left field. Scores one more for the Chippewas. So Central Michigan looking like they're going to make a change. Indeed they will. Pinch runner coming in. Skyler Coverly. He's going to come in and pinch run for Emily Bracamonte. Two outs here, bases loaded in the top of inning number six. Sydney Step. Ball one. Pitch number two, low and outside. First baseman, Sophie Weber. Talking to Sydney Step there after ball two. In for strike one, now a two, one count.
2-1 to Sammy Mills. Swung on and fouled off. Count moving to 2-2. Two and two. Evelyn Loyola setting up the spot for a pitcher. And Sophie Weber, the first baseman, dives on a ground ball and taps first base. Bowling Green will get out of the inning, but not before Central Michigan adds another. 7-5, to five, Central leads over Bowling Green. Bowling number six. They'll go to the plate, and Sophie Weber, who got the third out of the top half of the inning, she'll lead off here in the bottom half. Central Michigan making a couple of changes in the field, but now in to pitch for Central Michigan, Faith Howe. He'll start things off with strike number one. Pitch two. Called the strike on the outside. Not a strike there, now one, two, the count on Sophie Weber. Weber fouls off a pitch to stay alive, one, two, count. How this season, only one appearance before this one. In that appearance, three innings pitched, gave up four hits and one run. Faced 11 batters. Pitch outside and high, 2-2 two -two the count. <laughs> Weber sets up for the pitch from Howe. Outside, a strikeout. Out number one for Central Michigan. Is Central Michigan Moving closer, trying to snap a three-game losing streak. Nikki Sorge to the plate now for Bowling Green. Swings on pitch number one. 
Howe delivers on a strike. We mentioned how only four players for Bowling Green had started and played in all 16 games. Sorgi is one of those. Pitch number two outside. Coming into the, today, an average of 182. Watch as ball number two go by. Sorgi delivers out to right field. Diving grab there from Central Michigan. And a nice job to make the catch. And Abby told me, dives and snags. An almost guaranteed hit from Nikki Sorgi takes away. Potential base runner for Bowling Green. Now two outs here, bottom of the sixth inning. Pitch number one. A strike to Sarah Gonzalez. Pitch number two, a strike. Strong performance here in inning number six from Faith Howe. Third pitch, well outside. Gonzalez is still standing in the box. Fouls one off. Staying alive here with a count of one and two. Weber fouls another one off the end of the bat. Gonzalez still a 1-2 count here. Pitch number six of the at-bat coming up as she battles. Bowling Green still trying to cut into the Central Michigan lead as Bowling Green finds themselves down right now. Central ahead, 7-5. Pitch high, 2-2 two -two count. Howe delivers. Gonzalez fouls it off. Sarah Gonzalez continuing to battle here with two outs in the bottom of the sixth. Watches strike three go by Faith Howe. Gets out of the inning. We'll go to the top of inning number seven. Central Michigan leading Bowling Green seven to five here at Missouri Field.
Back here for the start of inning number seven. Shannon Stein looking to get things going for Central Michigan. Sydney step back into the ball game for Bowling Green. Pitch number one gonna go as a strike. Loyola and Step walking out towards the mound. And after a short chat, back ready to go. Step delivers, fouled off. Stein fouls it off behind the netting. Two pitch. High out of the zone, ball one. Bowling Green trying to hold Central Michigan scoreless here in the top of the seventh. And trying to mount a comeback charge in the bottom of the inning of game one here of the doubleheader. Steps pitch, delivered back up the middle. Can't make a diving grab in center field. And that's going to be a stand-up double for Shannon Stein. Lesperance tried to make a diving grab out in center field. Just wasn't able to get there. Abby Niehaus, the batter now for Central Michigan. count now. Second pitch also going to be logged as a ball. So 2-0 count now. Rio, step outside and high to Abby Niehaus. And a four pitch walk. And now Central Michigan with two runners aboard to get the top of the seventh inning started. Back to the top of the order for Shaden Knapp, 0 for 3 today. Two strikeouts for Knapp. And in addition to 0 for 3, she also has a walk. And the hits racking up for Central Michigan now. 12 hits so far in this game. Knapp tries to lay down a bunt. And Bowling Green will throw the ball away. Weber airs the ball out to right field after overthrowing. First base and Central Michigan scores. So 8-5 now the score for Central Michigan following the error by Sophie Weber. The runners in scoring position now for Abby Tolme.
First pitch low to Tomey. Strike over the heart of the plate into a 1 1 count. Step back to work. Delivers a pitch. Tolmy on the ground to second base. Bowling Green's going to get one out, but Central scores another. Sammy D scooped it up out of the gravel, fired over to Weber for out number one. Abby Tolme gets an RBI out of the ground ball to Sammy D's at second base. 9-1 the Central Michigan lead. As Valmont fouls off pitch number one. And a reminder here following this game, 30 minutes after this game, game two. You'll be able to watch that one here as well on WBGU. Step delivers pitch number two.